50 years ago, people who looked like me were kicked out of Uganda, banished. Nearly 60,000 people were given just 90 days to pack up and get out. They had to leave behind their homes, their businesses, their whole lives, and about 7,000 came to Canada. I'm a smiling Muslim and that's how my community started here. In 1972, this dictator, Idi Amin, had a dream of a so-called pure Uganda. He wanted to get rid of all of the Indians, the Pakistanis, all South Asians. Those who he said were depriving black Africans of opportunities. I want to see that the whole Kamala street is not full of Indians. It must be proper black and the administration in those shops is run by the Ugandan. My mom was there when that announcement was made. I am Kenyan, but I've heard these stories of Ugandans from my mom. She says, the curfew came in place. They had to lay flat on the ground. They couldn't make a sound. They could hear the gunshots. They could hear everything happening outside. 